Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So today I wanted to show y'all five new products that have kind of evolved from earlier versions of those products are just uh, engineered better than what we've been using in the past. And in some cases, they will combine a couple different products into one product, which makes it easier on us to uh, you know, load out when we go to our photo shoots. And I just felt like uh, these were unique enough and improved enough that it was worthwhile for me to take uh, or make a video to show them to y'all because I've really enjoyed using them here over the past couple months. So also I wanna say that uh, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, unfortunately, <laughs> but uh, that's the way it is. Uh, I did have one company, Freewell. They sent me uh, one of these. This is the, the first item that I, I would want to uh, show y'all. Uh, and Freewell, let me just say too, uh, having a little channel like this on YouTube, I get, uh, solicited by companies wanting to send me products in return for dedicated videos. Some of these companies want to see the video before I put them out. They want to send me an outline of things to say. Uh, they want to, um, you know, uh, have a approval before I put anything out. Uh, Freewell is, is not like that. They'll send me a query asking if I'd be interested in a certain type of product. And I'm, I'm not going to say yes to everything they, they send out. Uh, if there's something I feel like I could use, something that I, I might um, you know like enough to share with y'all, then yeah, I'll ask uh, for it. And then they'll send it over, and it's really no strings attached. So I want to thank them for conducting business like that and uh, just being cool about sending stuff over and, um, and obviously having faith in their own products. So uh, it works out for me that way. And... A product like this is something I'm definitely want to share with y'all. And this is what they call their um, Pro Card Reader. And uh, they have two different versions of this. They have a, um, a version that just reads SD and micro SD cards, and it's a little bit less expensive. Uh, but I think if you're going to get a card reader like this, you need to go probably for this one, which is the Pro Reader. And this is right at, uh, what is it, $99.99, so right at 100 bucks. But what this guy does is it come? It comes in the first of all. It comes in this nice hard case, so the reader itself is protected. And then, as you see it slide out, you can see there are options for memory card storage on here. You can store your CF Express Type B, Type A, SD, and micro SD on this side. Let me get it where you can see me. So you can see the different slots there. So you've got several different. I think you got three slots for SD cards. One for the uh, CF type A and then CF type B. Uh, and then you've got six for the micro SD uh, card. So as a pretty neat product that you can now, you can combine a card reader with uh, your card carrier, card holder. Uh, you know, there and again, uh, some ingenuity going on there. Plus this one comes with its own built-in uh, USB-C cable. So you can plug this in and, uh, and you know, go right to, to work with your card reader. And not only, obviously, it, it, you have options to carry all these cards. You can, it's a card reader that, that you can read the CF Type A, Type B, uh, SD, and then the micro SD. And let me show you. You can see those. If you see me looking down here, I got a monitor that shows me what, what y'all can see. And so you've got all your readers here. That's very... I really haven't come across that. Uh, it, you, usually the CF Express readers are separate. Uh, like here, I've got uh, Type B. This is a ProGrade. This one is, I think, like 80 bucks. The Sony uh, Type A for the Sony native cards. Uh, this one, I think, is uh, 120, 130 bucks. Uh, and then you've got, you know, you got to keep up with the USB cables and, I mean, you know, and, and all that that goes along with those. Whereas this is built in. Let me say too that, so if you don't have the USB type three or C on your uh, computer, they do send you a uh, adapter uh, to the type A. And then there's a carabiner in there as well. So uh, you've got this loop on the top. So if you wanna hook it to your bag that way, I personally would probably not use it that way. I'm, I would, I'm gonna stick it inside my camera bag just to take care of it. Uh, especially I've got, if I've used some of these memory cards and I've slotted them in here, I wanna you know, make sure they're safe and sound. And that's kind of the beauty of this uh, case that it, that it slides into. So right off the bat, I mean, this, this is a uh, nice little, little product. I, 
If you saw my last video where I compared the megapixel sizes from uh, the Fuji, the Sony, and the Canon cameras, this is what I took because I had US, I had CF Express A and B uh, and SD cards. And so um, back at the hotel, I was able to plug everything right into this one reader and uh, download all the images that uh, I needed to download for that video. So this guy right here has definitely made it into uh, my camera bag. And I want to thank uh, Freewell for sending it over and uh, giving me the opportunity to, to try this out. Now let's, let's talk about another product that I feel like is uh, some, some really cool engineering going on with it. It's uh, a battery charger and it's called the uh, Tri-Charge. I just, you know, looking at this product uh, and using this product now, I'm like, I can't believe that this hasn't <laughs> really been done before. Uh, it's, it, so this operates as like a battery holder and a charger. So you can stick uh, three batteries in here and it'll hold them in there. You can also uh, put your memory cards in this product as well. It's got, uh, this one in particular has the CF Express Type A and then SD and micro SDs. Uh, so once again, combining really like three products in one with this one. You've got a card holder, battery holder, and a battery charger. And let me show you too. So on this side here, you can see there's a little button. So if you need to know the status of your batteries, you hit that little button and you can see you know, what's going on. Uh, these two right here are fully charged and then this one is going to need uh, some more charge. Uh, you know, it's partially charged. So that comes into play. I'm sure uh, y'all have experienced this where uh, you're out on location, you're shuffling batteries and you, you're not quite sure which battery is the fully charged one or the one you just pulled out of your camera swapped out. So once you stick it in this holder, you can just push this button and it'll let you know uh, what's going on. And you use a, to, ch to activate the charger here, you'll use a USB-C cable that it comes with. And right here, I'm just plugging it into <clears throat> my laptop that's sitting right here. And you can see uh, it gives you the status of the batteries that, as they're charging here. So pretty, you know, it's, there's just a lot going on with this piece of kit. And this, this holder was designed and I guess pretty much invented uh, by a um, filmmaker, YouTuber, Peter Lindgren. Uh, and, you know, hats off to him. Hats off to you, Peter, if you, if you happen to see this video. Uh, I really I dig your product. It comes uh, in three different um, form for the three. I guess it comes, I'm trying to say it comes uh, in variations for Sony, Canon, and Nikon. So, you know, when you, if you want to go and uh, order this guy, make sure you get the right one for your batteries. This one in particular is the uh, Sony uh, version. One last neat little uh, option it gives you, as you can see on this end here, this is a USB-C out. So uh, maybe if you're in a pinch and your phone uh, needs a charge, you can plug in a USB-C cable, plug it right into your uh, phone and charge your phone or other devices uh, right on set. I personally am probably not gonna do that just because I'm more concerned about my camera's battery life than, than some other things. But hey, that option is there if you need it. All right, so let's move to the, uh, the next item, more so for my tethering photographers. So I've got my R5 here, and, and this is kind of how I start my photo shoots. I'm usually using a Tether Tools Tether Block, is what they call it. And what this does is it keeps my USB-C cable uh, where it needs to be going into the, the input here into the camera and keeps this from, from loosening up and uh, where I don't get those disconnected, uh, camera disconnected errors that we all hate uh, when that happens. So what I end up, every shoot that I go to, I've got to run this uh, cable through the tether block, screw it onto the bottom of my camera, and then I plug this into the computer to get things rolling. And then at the end of the shoot, I'll go ahead and show you. I just did this finger tight so I could demonstrate this during the video. So at the end of every shoot, before I put my camera back in, uh, the camera bag, I've got to take this guy off, just like that, so my camera's free, and then uh, another thing that I do here too, uh, I've got to, I mark my tether cables uh, to where they have a center point in here, because once you screw this onto your camera, there's no moving this cable around, so you, if you get it wrong, you have to take this all the way back off again, and then readjust the cable, so 
I've come to learn <laughs> the hard way uh, that I need to mark my cable uh, to get it right every time. But anyway, so then you've got this piece uh, that will go in your camera bag uh, along with your camera. Let me put this back away. And now they have come out with what they call the uh, tether guard lever lock plate. And that's what this looks like. And so what this does is gives you the opportunity, let me say too that uh, this has got an Arca Swiss uh, clamp on the, well, not clamp, but um, Arca Swiss mount on the bottom. Uh, this one as well, so if you wanna use a tripod, you just mount it right to uh, the block or this, what they call the lever lock plate. But what this does is gives you the, uh, the ability to just leave this on your camera. You don't have to put it on, take it off. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. So when you get to uh, you know, setting up for your photo shoot, instead of having to uh, thread this through the block and then screw it onto your camera, you just uh, lift this lever here or lever and then work the cable through that and just let it fall back down and you're ready to roll. So it saves uh, basically two steps. Um, beginning of the photo shoot, I'm, I'm not gonna have to uh, screw a plate into the bottom of my camera. And at the end of the photo shoot, all I'm gonna do is lift that and then pull the cable you know, out of this plate. It also, so like I showed too with the, where I had to mark that cable, this one uh, is a little more forgiving. You can lift this up after you get it threaded in there. If you're a little bit off, on where you have it threaded in here, you can make a, an adjustment without having to pull that plate all the way off. So, super simple. And it's another one of these designs that hard that hard to believe that this wasn't thought of before, uh, but I am now using this uh, pretty much uh, on my photo shoots where I'm tethering. This is gonna be my go-to, and I'm just gonna leave it on uh, my camera uh, so then I don't have to go through all that. Um, it's just, it takes away two steps and makes my life simpler uh, when I'm starting up and ending a photo shoot. Uh, all right, so let's go to the next one. Speaking of like cables, this is what I used to use in my, I have to clean up all this area <laughs> after this video. This is what I've been using for like cable management in my camera bag. And this is a Peak Design. I think they call it this, the Tech, uh, what is it? Uh, tech pouch. Great little bag. You can see all the dividers and stuff in here. Uh, you can really pack this thing um, full with a lot of a lot of different different things. You know, multiple card readers. Uh, let me say too, with like that tri charge, you got three batteries. And normally, I'm I'm traveling with you know several uh, battery chargers, and you know that takes the place of all that. Let me run through the pri pricing too on these. The this uh, tri charge is 129. Getting ahead of myself. The uh, the tether um, lever lock plate here is ninety nine ninety nine, so right at a hundred. So we're at like a hundred one twenty nine and a hundred bucks here. Um, back to the pouch. This is um, this is you know really worked for me just fine. The drawback that I find with this is the form factor, and you can see it's kind of like this 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 block. And it, when you get it full of stuff, it really doesn't compress that down, even if it's not that full, man, it's not that full right now. And it just maintains its shape. So I've got to create space in my camera bag for uh, this item. And so now what I've come up with to replace that are these, these bags by cord bag, uh, CRD, BAG, and now that I remember the pricing, this guy right here is like 35 bucks. I can't remember what this one cost, but it wasn't cheap. Uh, and, and you can, let me say you can find, I think, uh, less expensive, similar type um, bags. I don't think they're gonna be the quality of this. And for 35 bucks, I feel, in my personal opinion, it's worth it to uh, have something that's gonna last for a long, long time. Uh, these come in different sizes. So I've got a small, this is the medium. They have a large and extra large. I'm, I'm feeling like the medium is gonna be kind of the sweet spot for me. And you know, right here, you've got just a really high quality zipper. You can put your cables in here. Right off the bat, what I really like is being able to see in the bag. So I can look in here and quickly grab what I need to get. This one I've got to unzip and kind of root around in, and that's partly my fault, but it is what it is. Uh, so what I really like about this though, is when I'm packing up my, my bag, I can put everything in my bag and then just lay this on top, close the lid, 
uh, on my bag and, and this is the form factor of this guy is slim enough to where it's not causing any issues uh, whereas this guy right here you can see it's a much much wider or deeper type um, bag so nothing really wrong with that bag but just for traveling sake I'm going to be switching to these cord bags uh, you can also get uh, fancy little labels so uh, you know in your cord heavy uh, type of gear management you can and they show like, I think on their website where you can line these up in a hard case and kind of flip through them uh, to find you know what you're looking for in these little uh, tags you can also it will help you with that and you can also slide uh, handwritten labels in here as well so another uh, piece of kit there that I feel like is making my life simpler easier all right the last thing if you're If you're like me, when I'm on set and working uh, you know, with talent do, during my photo shoots, I like to have somewhere to, to kind of sit down. And I've been using uh, just an Apple box forever. And this thing <laughs> is hard as wood, obviously. <laughs> you can get like a pad, like a seated pad, and it slides on one end of this guy and would you know, help with the comfort level. It's gonna not help with the weight factor. I think this guy is like uh, 11 pounds. So, and it's also, you know, obviously really boxy, 11 pounds, pretty heavy. And I got to thank a photographer assistant uh, of mine who brought one of these on set for himself. And this is what I've replaced that uh, Apple box with. And this is what they call the foam box. And uh, these guys are only 60 bucks. Uh, it's foam, so it's much softer. It is rigid. Uh, and I don't think you have to worry about the build quality on this guy. I've used it on multiple shoots up to now and it's worked fantastic uh, but so you go from 11 12 pounds to three pounds uh, kind of a soft exterior this is uh you know it's very comfortable for what it is also like if you get the the cushion on that guy it's just on one edge and when i'm working uh, i like to move up and down um, and so I'll, I'll use it in this kind of set or I'll, you know, straight up, use it like this for the max height that I can get off the floor when I'm seated. seated. Uh, I'll use it this way, and then I'll go this way with it. And then sometimes I'll be completely on the ground or I'll be standing. Uh, but this, and just the fact of, of how light it is, uh, where I, I really don't have to worry about banging into stuff, I can throw this in the back of my, my truck when I'm loading up my gear, don't have to worry about it if I'm, <laughs> Loading up that old school uh, Apple box, I really can't uh, throw it in, and then it's more of a more of a pain in the neck to use. So this guy right here is definitely taking the place of that, and for sixty bucks, it's uh, it's a steal in my book. All right, I don't want to go on and on about these these products. Hopefully, you see something here that uh, you feel like can help you uh, make your life simpler as a photographer. Feel free to I've got I'll have links below. Check those links out. Do a little more research on them. I give uh, I, these all my stamp of approval. I'm using all these products now uh, on my photo shoot. So if you feel like uh, this video is worthy, please give me that thumbs up. If you want to uh, see more content just like this in the future, uh, hit that subscribe button down there. Any questions, comments, feel free to drop those in below. Uh, let me know if you like this type of a video where I'm showing off some products that I use. I don't do this all that often. Uh, and y'all, you know, kind of let me know if, if you like this type of thing. In the meantime, y'all can find me on social media at Quants Photo on Instagram and as well as Prolight Mods on Instagram. You can also find me, I'm, I'm toying around more on the threads as well at Quants Photo. Uh, I feel like there are a lot more, or there's a lot more content there than commercials, uh, unlike uh, the new X Twitter or whatever's going on over there. So y'all stay safe and healthy out there and I will see y'all again soon in the next one.